Okay, I'm going to do a uh, cockpit tour of my Labella uh, H201. Um, I'll start with uh, the leftmost control here, and this is the uh, air brakes or the uh, spoilers. We can open and we can close them. I don't have them hooked up because well, I don't have the glider assembled right now. Just uh, sitting, sitting in it in the uh, driveway, no wings. So um, I have a place where I can jack in a microphone. Although I do have um, a microphone a boom mic that's very helpful and on the stick I have a push to talk switch um, down here I have a compass then we have the radio right now I have it on the local uh, tower frequency I have a variometer which I can turn the volume up that generally tells us if we're going up and down and this particular variometer will uh, um, also give me information in terms of the speed to fly based upon my average climbs. Um, here I have a mechanical vario, again telling me going up and down. Um, it's not as sensitive as the electronic one and it doesn't beep. It's very helpful to have the beep because, uh, and the tones, because it tells you if you're going up or down in thermals, uh, how well you're sending thermals without having to uh, look at the instrument because you can hear it. Here we have an LX nav traffic view, and that traffic view will give me information about aircraft around me. Right, the particular one we have um, uses a uh, Flarm Eagle, which only receives ADS-B. Now, by now, most air traffic was supposed to have adapted the ADS-B standard, as opposed to the uh, um, mode C transponders, but um, it's been extended because a lot of small aircraft didn't want it. Have the expense. It's a bit hard for them to do that. So uh, I have an airspeed indicator. My particular case, it's because this aircraft was originally imported into the U.S. It's in uh, miles per hour as opposed to knots. Or kilometers per hour. Um, front over here, we have the altimeter, and uh, coming down here, um, I have the antenna for the. Uh, um, for receiving the ADSB, and over here I have a flarm antenna for transmitting a uh, ping signal so that other gliders can tell uh, if we're on a collision course. It sends out vector information and warns us of collisions, and of course it'll show up on my flarm display. Um, can't stare at the flarm display. Uh, if there's a beep, you can look at it close, uh, uh, quickly to see around where to look, but you should really be looking outside to see where the other glider in a collision course might be. Um, and then finally, down here, we have the control for deploying and uh, retracting the uh, main gear. Underneath, I have my rudder pedals, and I have the stick, which will control the elevator and the ailerons. And finally, as I'm coming to a stop, or I need to stop a little bit faster, I can apply the brake. There you go. Standard LaBelle.